what it's like to fall in love with a duck. An older single girl falls in love with a green-headed duck. Not only did she experience what it means to be empty, but she was also poor by him. On this day, Christina came to the small lake as usual to review her medical knowledge. Her sister asked her when she was looking for a partner Christina but changed the subject. She also wanted sweet love, but hated that she was not good at socializing. Just then a green-headed duck came to her. Christina casually dropped a piece of bread. Who do you want, filet mignon? Sure, you got some? What? I'll take medium rare. Christina couldn't believe it. She thought she was dreaming. The humor of the duck's words was so wonderful that it made her heart flutter. When she got home in the evening, Christina searched the internet for what ducks like to eat. And sure enough, she fell in love. The next morning Christina arrives at the park as usual, pretending to have no intention of bringing food. But in fact it is for the duck. She pours out her worries to the duck and also gives her own advice, advising her to suspend her studies and enjoy her free time instead of being stuck in a pile of books all day, and even coaxes Christina to take herself away on the pretext that the weather is too cold, so a single girl can't resist a veteran of the love scene. You gonna invite me in or what? When Christina and Duck arrive home, Duck starts to rant and rave about how dirty and messy the house is, which makes Christina a little uncomfortable. As they watch TV in the evening, she talks about why she wants to be a doctor and why she has never had a boyfriend and the flash of low self-esteem in her bones is keenly detected by Duck, who gives her words of encouragement that are very much appreciated by Christina. Christina and the Duck take a bath together, which is very cozy, as the Duck flaps its wings and splashes her. Christina starts to clean up the house, arranging all kinds of household furnishings, and even prepares a surprise for the Duck. However, the Duck gradually reveals his true nature, intentionally or unintentionally disliking her, and then coaxing her to be happy with his words afterward. Christina has not contacted her pregnant sister for a long time, and has been busy taking care of her new boyfriend, so she feels a little guilty. When she comes home, she finds duck poop all over the floor. Duck is upset that she's been out too long, and that's why she's messed up. So Christina has no choice but to start cleaning up, in order to make her happy. Duck reveals his big sword and lets her experience the feeling of an empty cave. However, it doesn't last long. Christina has been so distracted lately that she forgets all about even her top priorities. Even after a quick run to medical school, she still misses her exams. When Christina returns home, Duck even pretends to comfort her. Christina's sister, who is very worried about her because she can't get in touch with her. Christina wants to go out, but Duck is very upset and even attacks her. When her sister learns that Christina has been hurt by the scum, she can't wait to settle the score with the Duck on the spot, and Christina realizes who really loves her. When she passes by the roast duck store, she instantly comes to a realization, special to find the store chef, send the duck to be roasted duck. The chef has a good feeling about Christina and proposes to go on a date, but she politely refuses, saying that she is still preparing for her medical school exams. Christina not only gets rid of the duck, but also finally understands that independence is a woman's greatest strength. 